I'll now ask Umut to, to talk about his perspectives, especially from uh, detection and uh, diagnosis of the disease. Uh, Umut? Yes, uh, sure. Thank you very much. I would like to provide our uh, recent developments on the technology side uh, in terms of uh, screening, diagnosis, and therapy monitoring. I will focus on technologies that would allow not only screening and diagnosis, but also monitoring the uh, the new treatments uh, and uh, the existing and the new treatments in thalassemia and other hemoglobin disorders. Next slide, please. As uh, Dr. Lal uh, nicely summarized uh, the, the disease, uh, uh, beta thalassemia, it is a hemoglobin hemoglobinopathy, hemoglobin disorder, just like sickle cell disease is, which is also highly prevalent uh, in India in, and many other parts of the world. It is important to note that uh, it, there are there is the disease state, there is also the trait or the carrier state of the disease. And when we screen and diagnose for this, for this disease, beta thalassemia and other hemoglobin disorders, it is important to uh, be able to capture the, the carrier states as well, uh, especially important for prenatal uh, genetic counseling programs. Next slide, please. Uh, current, uh, currently available or more tra more traditional uh, diagnostic technologies uh, for beta thalassemia and other hemoglobin disorders are summarized in this slide. They are typically available in centralized uh, laboratories and uh, these technologies include hemoglobin electrophoresis, isoelectric focusing based or cellular state electrophoresis based, HPLC, high performance liquid chromatography based, these are protein based tests and also genetic testing. Uh, these uh, technologies and these laboratories uh, require trained lab uh, technicians and expertise to be able to perform these tests. Results can take uh, from days to weeks. And unfortunately, some of these laboratories, some of these technologies are only available in one or two central labs in some countries and in, in, in states. So they are not widely available to the general population and they require expensive instruments and reagents. So the, the emerging technologies, and which, which are becoming much more prevalent, much more affordable, accessible, are the point of care technologies, which I would like to talk about in the next few slides. Next slide, please. Uh, a Gazelle platform by Himex Health, which was invented in our laboratory at uh, Case Western Reserve University and commercialized by Himex Health and Himex DX of India, uh, offers unique advantages over centralized lab laboratory tests. So this point of care test can bring the screening and diagnostic capability to remote locations, to anywhere a patient might be present, schools, uh, local healthcare clinics and uh, anywhere is uh, anywhere is possible uh, for, for these tests and gazelle especially offers uh, reliability in challenging environments and these miniaturized technologies enable also new tests addition of new tests they are easy to operate and they have digital and connected capabilities almost like a, a smartphone you can actually do many uh, uh, and many data management and data uh, printing and report printing uh, capabilities, for example, and they are highly affordable. And this is the future of screening and diagnosis of hemoglobin disorders, including uh, beta thalassemia and many other diseases, as I will explain in the next few slides. Next slide, please. So this uh, Gazelle platform technology, uh, diagnostic technology, has multiple uh, technologies within itself. Uh, it enables the screening and diagnosis of beta thalassemia and uh, sickle cell disease and uh, some other common hemoglobin disorders. And uh, it's, it's based on a, a trusted electrophoresis-based technology, and the same technology has been updated and uh, it, advanced by Hemex Health to also include electrophoretic immunoassays that makes other important tests possible. As mentioned by Dr. Lal, infections, anemia, and uh, other uh, tests could also be useful in monitoring and management of the thalassemia and other hemoglobin disorders. And the same technology, same platform can be used to do other tests, such as anemia testing, which I will briefly talk about later, 
um, A1C testing, ferritin testing, and some other infectious disease uh, tests are all possible on the same platform. Next slide, please. Uh, specifically, microchip electrophoresis for hemoglobin variant testing uh, is unique as offered by Gazelle. It's the only point of care test that quantifies hemoglobin, which is very important, especially in treatment monitoring. And also it is the only test that detects, uh, only POC test, point of care test that detects uh, beta thalassemia. And it is based on electrophoresis technology. It is a, a, a trusted, accepted technology in the, in the field, and it leverages uh, those. It identifies and quantifies different hemoglobin types, as you see here. And you, some use cases are also uh, briefly summarized in this slide. Uh, it, it, this technology can do uh, 19 common hemoglobin disorder uh, detection. Next slide, please. <clears throat> so this video here uh, will show you uh, how the test works uh, briefly. It uh, separates the hemoglobins as they migrate in an electrical field in the electrophoretic system. And based on the presence of bands and the relative intensity of the bands, we can identify hemoglobin variants, including uh, beta thalassemia based on hemoglobin A2 detection and also their uh, relative percentages. So this gives uh, fast results, and you can also see the example report screen here with the percentages and the types of hemoglobin variants identified. Next slide, please. How uh, Gazelle detects beta thalassemia, this is a new and a very important feature that we have uh, added to the Gazelle platform. This diagnosis is based, uh, this screening and diagnosis is based, based on the uh, elevated hemoglobin A2 level, uh, as, as shown here. And uh, the presence of A2, as well as the presence of FA, for example, uh, can be used, fetal hemoglobin, hemoglobin A presence can be used to uh, identify uh, the trait and uh, intermedia. Next slide, please. One important aspect of this technology is uh, accurate quantification of hemoglobin types. This is that here in this slide, we show an example of how this feature can be used to monitor Treatment, for example, in sickle cell disease, some treatments modify the hemoglobin, fetal hemoglobin level, fetal hemoglobin level in blood, and this technology can be used to monitor the changes in fetal hemoglobin. Similar uh, th th therapy monitoring uh, modalities can be also considered for beta thalassemia. Next slide, please. Here are uh, some publications and performance summary for this uh, technology high accuracy and high sensitivity specificity has been demonstrated in peer reviewed publications over uh, the past many years actually some of uh, some of and many of these studies were performed in india with our amazing collaborators uh, in india next slide please one important aspect of gazelle that i would like to quickly highlight highlight this is a new feature coming to gazelle is the integrated anemia or hemoglobin level testing as indicated by Dr. Lal in his presentation, monitoring the hemoglobin level for these uh, patients is quite important. And we have been aware of this. And in, within the same test, by looking at the total hemoglobin uh, intensity, we would like to provide the hemoglobin detection, hemoglobin uh, level uh, detection or me and measurement uh, within the same test. And this feature is uh, coming to Gazelle soon. Next slide, please. In summary, these new point of care technologies uh, provide an affordable uh, testing modality for uh, beta thalassemia. They are very powerful, and especially Gazelle is the only point of care technology available right now for beta thalassemia testing. It, uh, uh, these technologies also allow testing uh, in uh, low and middle income countries uh, and, and, and many other places in the world, including Middle East, Europe, the United States. And uh, they are also powerful in, uh, in, in, in every setting. They are easy to use, highly rugged for uh, hot, humid, dusty conditions, and digital data management and data sharing capabilities and printing capabilities of the reports uh, make these technologies uh, very easy to use and also convenient. Uh, this is all I have for, for today. Thank you very much for your attention. And thank, uh, I'm happy to be a part of the panel. Thank you.